How's it going guys? The next update for Horizon 5 has just been fully announced, Apex All-Stars Series 33. In this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the whole update. Let's jump straight to it. So this update has been announced to have 12 new cars, a new car pack, another returning car to the auto show, some new event lab props and much more. I'm going to cover the new car pack first before we get into the new cars within the festival playlist. Now the new car pack is called Apex All-Stars, just as we guessed. And what does it have in it? Motorsport related cars. Very interesting. As usual, I have some codes for this car pack to give away. So if you want a chance to win a free Xbox car pack code, comment your gamer tag and make sure you're subscribed and I pick a few people at random. The car pack contains the 2016 BMW number one M Motorsport MA GTE, the 2015 Cadillac number three racing ATS VR, the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette racing C8R, the 2018 Mercedes AMG GT3, the 2020 Lexus Vassour Sullivan RS F GT3, the 2019 Ferrari Rizzi Coptizion 488 GTE and the 2018 Porsche 911 GT3R. Those are the seven motorsport related cars within the Apex All-Stars car pack. It's $10, eight pounds or 10 euros, or it's free if you win the giveaway. Comment your gamer tag. Now the other five cars are all in the festival playlist, which we'll start on now. If you haven't guessed already, this update is not drag racing related as it could have been. We spoke about it a couple of days ago. Turns out the motorsport theory was correct and we're getting a lot of track slash motorsport cars. So for the full series for 80 points, you can get the 2013 Chevrolet Summit Racing Pro Stock Camaro. That is why loads of people thought this was going to be a drag racing update. Unfortunately, the only drag racing related thing in this update is that car. For 160 points, you can get the Trans AM. That Pro Stock is the eighth new car. The ninth new car is in summer for 20 points. 2016 Ford GT number 66 GTLM Le Mans. For 40 points, you can get the Corvette Z06 from 2023. The Forza Lon shop for the first week has the Porsche 917, AMG COK GTR, Mexican hat, dance horn, and a black wrestling outfit and mask. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. The second week, which has the 10th new car, the 2021 Hyundai number 98 Brian Herta Autosport Elantra N. That is for 20 points. For 40 points, you can get the Alfa Romeo 155. The Forceton shop has stuff like the Ford GT40, Lamborghini Veneno, walkie talkie horn, and a blue wrestling outfit and mask. The third week has the 11th new car, the 2005 Mitsubishi No. 1 Sierra Enterprises Lancer an Evolution Time Attack for 20 points. For 40 points, you can get the KTM Expo GT4. The Forzathon shop has stuff like the Ferrari FXX, the Apollo IE, the La Caracha horn, and the green wrestling outfit and mask. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that third week. The fourth and final week, which has the final new car, the 12th new car, the 2017 Porsche number 92 GT Team 911 RSR. And for 40 points, the Mercedes-Benz SL65. The Forzathon shop for that final week has the McLaren F1 GT, the Aston Martin 1-77, a police siren horn, and a pink wrestling outfit and mask. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that final week. Those are all of the new cars for this update. There are 12 in total, seven of which are in the car pack. 
Now, there's a sort of a new car, it's not new to the game, but it's returning to the auto show and as a reward, and it is the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray. Starting the 23rd of April, the E-Ray will be permanently available in the auto show for 181,000 credits. So if you haven't previously got this, you can now go and buy it. It was originally a reward for people who played motorsport. Now, additionally, it will be available as a reward for winning the Going the Distance Championship on week four, which can be seen right here. So if you haven't got this car, it is, it's not new, but there you go, that is now available. Now this update also has some pretty damn good new event lab props. Let's show them. Now I do have some gameplay of some of the things that I've been chipping in and off the screen. I do have some gameplay of some of the props. We have eight asphalt road props, which have snapping functionality. Each piece features a non road marked version as well. So I guess there's what, 16 different road props with and without road mark road markings. We also have 15 elevation props as well featuring snap functionality and again each piece features a non-road marked version as well so is that 30 props in total there and then there's one gameplay prop and it is a podium tank smashable which I believe is the same collectible for this month as well. So those are all of the new event lab props. What's very confusing is it says 22 new event lab props but if you add 8, 15 and 1 that makes 24 so Quick maths. What else does this update bring to us? Well, it brings a new accolade, which is for collecting all of the new cars, as usual, the Apex All Stars accolade. We have a new outfit, and it is a traffic cone outfit. You can complete week two photo challenge to unlock this exclusive outfit. There's an evolving world where in week three, the podium tank smashable can be found over at the Horizon Apex Outpost, and there are some highlighted bugs and fixes as well. There's probably more things fixed in this update. However, these are the only ones that they have noted. We'll see more when we get the changelog. Now I hope too many people aren't disappointed because as I said lots of people expected this to be a drag racing update. If you don't know on Saturday we actually had up to three cars that aren't in the game that were supposedly leaked and possible candidates for this update and only one of them has been added. There was a TikTok found last week where player games show the Celine S5S Raptor in the game. We presumed that was a hint towards it coming in this update the S5S Raptor is nowhere to be seen. Not only that, we have Hennessy hinting that the Venom 1200 Ford Mustang will be coming to the game by essentially telling us that, well, it's in the game with their community poll over on YouTube and we've not got that car either. So those two cars, maybe we bump back to next month or maybe it was just a mistake. I don't know. Either way, it wasn't the drag racing related update that lots of people presumed. It was the motorsport update, which further fuels my theory that all of these cars that are coming to motorsport and all of these cars that are coming to Horizon, they eventually come to the other game. Now we can see with all of these motorsport cars coming through, if you didn't already know, I presume you would quite a few of these motorsport cars that have come to the game today quite a few of these track cars are in forza motorsport and they're just making their way across quite a lot of them the next update is going to be horizon retro wave as usual we'll have a video specifically talking about this around the may time sometime see if we can guess what's coming i will see you all in the next video